Send down the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Trojans and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offense coordinator are very happy about the execution on that last play. And he's immediately tackled. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Throw incomplete, wanted his receiver. Almost intercepted. That's going to bring up fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. It's second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. the stop right around the 24-yard line. So the offense fails to pick up the first down. Branch awaiting the return. Oh, excellent punt. Got the corner. And he's hammered down. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 48-yard line, second down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. And he 
he's tackled around the 43-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. Really nice play by the receiver to make sure he had possession before trying to make even a bigger play. That's all you need to do in that scenario. made around the 39-yard line. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. It's second and 12. Ball on the 39. He has some room. Tries to get around the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 26. Rose incomplete, knocked away. Here's the eighth play of the series. Give to the tailback, and he hits him hard at the 27. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Tackle at the 11. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes which is a truly underrated quality these days. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Here's the halfback. He's taken down at the eight. Marks gets around three on the halfback draw. That's the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. Second down at seven coming up here. Ball on the eight yard line. Here's the handoff and he's taken down for a loss. And this is the 12th play of the drive. And down he goes around the seven yard line. They're going to go for the easy three here. USC is looking to go up by three. Kicks up and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. USC's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. On the delay, brought down after a nice run up the middle. Second and six. Ball on the 29. Scrambling around. He's hit and taken down. First 
He's into the open field. Number 15 on the run. Nine yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Taken down in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. the 45 yard line it's second down makes it to the 37 hit immediately so they're going to go for it here fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab there's a missed opportunity by the offense Again, another drive. USC holds a field goal lead. Well designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. From their own 39 yard line, second down. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Good possession there for the defense. At the 30 yard line. That'll make it fourth and 14. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. And this one is a beauty. And he's taken down at the 28. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out around the 34-yard line. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Bring him down around the 38-yard line. First down pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. From their own 38-yard line. First down. 
Throws it in a hurry. Brought down around the 25-yard line. Big gain there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big gain. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Big play, and it's first and goal. After one, this game's still pretty close. 3-0, Trojans. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Just inside the five. Second down. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. It was a seven-play, 72-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. That's a great tackle at the 25. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Under heavy pressure. He's wrapped up for the sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Third and long now after the sack. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop at the 33-yard line. He really got a hold of that one. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Nebraska is up by four. And he tackles him hard at the 23. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So the sack makes this a second and long. Completes it across the middle. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. And he's tackled right away. is back deep to return. Booming kick. 
Branch fields it at the 22, and he's tackled at the 34-yard line. The Trojans know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. out quickly to the tailback and he's taken down at the 40-yard line second down seven yards to go ball on the 40-yard line he wants it all it's caught touchdown USC So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 65-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The score now, 10-7. USC to kick this one off. He just drills this one. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tackle made around the 22-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 22. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. He goes out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Branch is back awaiting the punt. Oh, excellent punt. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. USC's running ability is what we've been talking about and looking at all week long, and that's what we thought would be on full display. But it's been the air game, Kirk. Yeah, it's an interesting move here, Brad. For a team with a star in the backfield, I'd expect them to try to establish the ground game a little bit more. But still early in this game, we're seeing them following this trend to see if it continues here in the second half. Going deep, lays it out there. And he's got it. And he will score. impossible pass to defend and it goes for six yep the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time and he adds the extra point Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. 
excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. They're about four yards away here on second down. play for both the quarterback and receiver but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw so the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten He makes his way to about the 18. He's going to try and scramble. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. They're packed in tight on the line. Passes and it's almost picked off. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. This is the eighth play of this drive. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. to go for the easy three here and they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here the kick is up and it splits the uprights even though they gave up the field goal here that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now it could have just as easily been a touchdown nebraska to kick and he got all of this one great kick he's to the 20 Tackle at the 26. It's not that often, Kirk, we see a team that plays this well when their star player isn't playing well. Now, Marks' stats line, well, as we approach halftime, nowhere near what we expected. Well, I'm sure he's not too concerned about his individual performance up to this point because the team is playing so well. And this is actually, I think, a, a really a testament to just how good this football team is and how well they're coached to have your star player not playing his best and yet to still have the lead getting ready still for half a football to go. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. USC is up by a touchdown. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. And down he goes at the 38. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Mike 
Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Tackle at the 37 yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. goes out of bounds at the two-yard line. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. USC is up seven. Caught over the middle. He's taken down around the 10-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. And he's tackled right around the 10-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Tackled at the 11-yard line. Moss only gets about a yard there on the option keeper. Nebraska is going to use their first time out of the half here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's leveled at the 40. The Cornhuskers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires incomplete. I think the quarterback that time just felt the pressure and just got rid of the football before he took the sack. Kicks away, and he didn't get all of it. It falls short. And watch out because they can return this. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. USC's lead is a touchdown. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. No impressive rushing numbers in the first half. Both teams continued to try to establish the run. They were very stubborn about it, though neither one was very successful. But you got the sense at times that it was a little predictable, that maybe the defense knew exactly what was coming every time. The run game is extremely important. It's important because it's body blows to a defense and you loosen them up, I think, later in the game. It opens it up to play action, but that doesn't mean that your script goes first and 10, I have to run the football. Mix it up, 
keep them off balance, keep the defense guessing. You've seen across college football, the teams with the most balance seems to be the most successful offenses. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Trojans continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. A little handoff. Nice gain as he works the right side. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Fires quick. Tipped. He was able to just tip that one away right out of the receiver's reach. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. Looks middle, got his back. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. There's a strike complete. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Big opening. He's at the 20 to the 10. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. And again, we're looking at a tie game. Man, a lot. This one really looks like it's going to come down to the finish. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. Nebraska lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Quick out to his receiver. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Got hit and still completed it. To the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Trojans. his third toss for a score. 
He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Handoff up the middle. Tackle made at the 24. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. From their own 24 yard line. Second down. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of four. That makes it third and seven. Here they come. That's a great tackle at the twenty two. Branch is back deep to return the punt. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Nebraska is not going to back down from anybody, Herbie. I guess at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in this country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball in the 49. USC up seven points. Up the middle for a nice game. Got a man, watch out here. And down he goes, around the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, first down. Throws it out at all. He's hit hard for a loss, and they'll lose a yard there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check by 33, check by 33. Run it! Gives it left side. He's at the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. We 
got a first and ten. Ball on the 25 yard line. Steps out of bounds at the 21. Lemon gains four yards on that reception. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. USC is up a score. They'll drop him for a loss. Loss of one on the play. Finds him second and goal. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 11. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Tackled after a decent pickup. The offense is staying on the field. It's all or nothing. Here we go. Zings it over the middle, touchdown! He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. And he tacks on the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Wide open receiver and it's incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. At the 37. First down. From their own 37 yard line. First down. He gets it out to about the 47 yard line. That makes it first and 10. They bring him down in the backfield. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Gets it, he's in space. He's taken down right around the 40. That's good for a game of 15 yards. From the 40 yard line, it's first down.
On the pitch, look out, loose ball. Defense says they've got it, and they do. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover clock. They need to hold on to the football. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Quick throw, incomplete, one on his receiver. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Catches it, and that's all. The defense provided good pressure on the play, but they just weren't able to get to the quarterback that time. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. He steps out at about the 49. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll work the left side. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, second down. Brought down at the 37-yard line. Humphrey makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. That'll make it 31. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gaining four yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 33. So at the end of three, the Trojans in front, 31-17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 21. And that one's incomplete. Runs right for a nice game. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. And now he's got room to run. The five, touchdown! Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. Splits the uprights with the extra point.
They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Dropped back a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 34. Makes the at the 34 yard line. That'll make it third and one. And he's taken down at the 41 yard line. Come free from the tackle at the 41 yard line. First down. From their own 41 yard line. First down. He airs it out. Dropped. Number 18 was the intended receiver of the play. That makes it second and 10. Caught open field. And they make the stop at about the 33 yard line. First down. From the 33 yard line, first down. He heaves it to the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Nebraska. And he converts the extra point. for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Trojan staff has got to be ecstatic. Whether it's chess or checkers, they're playing out there today. They're winning. Well, this defensive staff trying to slow down this offense came in with a mindset of stopping the running game, first and foremost. And unfortunately for this defense, they've lost the battle out on the perimeter. And right now, they're giving up too many big plays through the air. He airs it out. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Here's a running play. Nice run there as they work the outside. That makes it third and three. Throws and it's incomplete. That brings us fourth and three. Booming kick. And he makes it out to about the 37 yard line. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. 
Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Second down and 12. Ball on the 36. Tackle made at about the 35. it to the 38-yard line. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He fields the punt at the 13. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, I think this whole offense is really clicking, and it's allowing him as a quarterback just to settle in and find his rhythm. And the rest of the team has backed up the good performance in the friendly confines of their home stadium. So we're just about ready to return to action. They get nice yardage on that run. They're about four yards away here on second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. Out of bounds around the 42 yard line. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. And he throws it away. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That'll bring up fourth and five. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. down after a nice run up the middle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And down he goes, around the 26-yard line. Decent run up the gut. That's a game of six and a half. First down. Ready! Three! Eight! Three! Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Tackle at the 48. That last completion puts him over 300 yards passing in the game. He's been able to get up and down the field all day today, moving consistently and effectively. But so far, it still hasn't been enough as these guys are still losing this game. 
And it's almost picked off. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Throws it out there. It's the sophomore that's got it. And they push him out at the 11. Here's the eighth play of the series. This defense has been in this situation before. They forced a huge turnover when they were backed into their own red zone last time. And he tackles them hard at the 13-yard line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. It's second and 12. Ball on the 13. Less than three minutes in the game. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. He makes the PAT. Nebraska is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Got it. And he goes down quickly. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. Game. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it, and that's hard to stop. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. They come out in a five-wide set. He fights forward to about the 49. The draw play gets maybe two yards. Nebraska has called their final timeout. He fights forward to around midfield. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it third and seven. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Gets to about the 41-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks.
really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 38-31, USC. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.